What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any 64-bit device, being it an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod, using the Beta 7 of the Yaloo. Now finally the Beta 7 was released and it was available for um, for download on the uh, yaloo.qwertyworthyup.com and it's finally working for all iOS 10 64-bit devices except iPhone 7 iPhone 7 is actually working but on temp 1.1 only so we're going to discuss about it and you probably know this is the official Yalu website you can download the official IPA but uh, I also run a uh, fork a modified version of this project on my github this is your official github in here and as you can see, the support is now extended. Only the iPhone 7 is not supported for the moment on 10.2, but you can jailbreak it on 10.0 to 10.1.1. Also, all these devices in here support iOS 10.2 jailbreak, being it iPad Pro, iPhone from iPhone uh, uh, 5S to iPhone um, 6S Plus, and all the rest in here, including iPod Touch fifth, uh, sorry, sixth generation. Well. Uh, I also updated my uh, version of Yalu on my project, the Yalu Dark, you probably remember it, in order to reflect this uh, Beta 7 that was released a couple of days ago, and it's of course uh, much more stable, and uh, this version, this Beta 7, fixes the iPad Air and Mini 4 issues, and also a couple of other things. So uh, we're going to see... I'm going to show you how to install it and we're going to see what are the changes in this one. I changed it a little bit the design of mine. You probably remember the design of the previous Yalu Dark. The Yalu Dark is my version and the official Yalu, Yalu 102 is, look at the disk codes version, the official one. So I'm going to show you how to um, deploy it. You can simply uh, open CDA Impactor, connect your device and drag the IPA in here and log in into your account. I deployed the application to the uh, device, now I'm going to show you how it looks like and how you can jailbreak any 64-bit device with it. Now, you, you should keep in mind, although it's extremely stable at this point, it's pretty darn stable and uh, Cydia had a lot of updates recently. It's in beta for iOS 10 but had a lot of updates, I think it's, mm, up, it's beta 9 or something. Um, you should still not install very dangerous tweaks. Um, App Sync doesn't work and you should not do that. Look at the Desco, I think, um, purposefully disabled the um, support for such thing and you can end up with a boot uh, loop. So do not install AppSync or um, Anemone. So I'm gonna be on the device. Alrighty, so I'm on the device. As you can see, I do have Cydia. I'm already jailbroken, but I cannot open it because I restarted the phone. And um, yeah, this is the problem with iOS 10 jailbreak. Every time you restart your phone, you will have CDI, you will have all your apps, including iFile and Terminal and whatever you installed, but they won't be active. You cannot open them until you run again the Yalu and jailbreak again. This is my version of Yalu, as you can see this version by Geos now in here. So this is not the official one, but it works exactly as the official. The difference is the design and the fact that mine detects the iOS version but the core works the same. If you want, you can check out my project with this one in the description down below. It will go to my GitHub. And you need to press, of course, jailbreak now, this button in here. And uh, I'm going to press it now to jailbreak my device. And if you're already jailbroken, you just need to uh, remove your Yalu, the version you have, simply click X, remove it, and deploy the newest one. It's pretty simple. You won't lose your jailbreak, you will not lose your tweaks, everything will be fine, you just need to do that and then simply run Yalu, well restart, run Yalu and jailbreak with the new version. So I'm going to do that, it will unfortunately cut off the uh, recording, but I'm going to be back when the jailbreak will be done. There we go, so the device restarted and I did have this theme installed, so this is why it automatically uh, restarted in this theme right here. If you're interested in the theme, it's called M flat icon set, you can find it in CDM. The uh, image on the background is a custom one I made. So um, yeah, as you can see, everything uh, gets enabled. I can open Cydia and I'm going to do that. And it's pretty, pretty uh, important to do the following thing. You need, if you want to have a much more stable jailbreak, you need to install the, um, the Cydia betas. Soric actually updated a lot Cydia ever since Look at the Disco made the jailbreak. So you will have updates. And how you can get them, you go to sources in here. This is something outside the... Uh, 
top of the video, but I'm going to show you. And you need to add this repo in here, apt.soric.com slash beta slash cdia dash arm 64. You need to add this one, like I added add, and uh, it will start downloading the uh, cdia installer beta and will make your Cydia work pretty cool. Now, especially if you have the problem with this interface, if you click themes and it get blocked, then you need to update your Cydia. By doing this that I showed you, it will simply make your Cydia work better. And as you can see, I do have an update to the substrate and I'm going to confirm it and I'm going to do it. So uh, yeah, it's pretty important to make all these things and I'm going to um, tell you in another video, I'm going to make a video on uh, the tweaks that are recommended on iOS 10. But anyways, I'm going to um, let it do this thing. You can see it's jailbroken. I think it's pretty obvious that if it installs, it's jailbroken. I'm not going to restart it right now. So yeah, this is what you need to do. As you can see now, if I go back in yellow, it says that I'm already jailbroken. I really hope you like the font that I choose. And uh, you don't need to press anything back again now. If you restart your device, you will need to go back in the application and jailbreak again. But this works on all 64 devices from iOS 10 to 10.2 and everything in between. And if you're speaking about iPhone 7, unfortunately for the moment, iOS 10 to 10.1.1 and in between. So huge thanks for Querty Wurio or Look at the Desco and Marco Grassi for this uh, jailbreak. If you like my version, you can use my version. If you like the original with the white uh, thing, that very simple thing. You can use that one as well, <laughs> it's the same thing. And uh, keep in mind that you will have to re-sign and resend the um, this pack, this yellow dark with CDA Impactor, no matter what yellow you use, the official or mine, you have to send it back to the uh, device every seven days. This is a limitation put by Apple for developer apps. Uh, but if you don't restart, for example, I'm jailbroken. If I don't restart my device, then I can go jailbroken for one year if I do not restart it. So you only need the application if you restart your device. So make sure you don't restart. Yeah, unfortunately for the moment, there is no workaround for this. If I am able to find one, I will surely tell you. So yeah, this is how you jailbreak your device, any device on 64-bit uh, on iOS 10 to 10.2. If you like this video, give this video a thumb up. Do not forget, you should keep your Cydia up to date by installing that repo. It's pretty useful. And um, yeah, till the next time, tell me in the comment section down below if you managed to jailbreak your device. If you want to download my version, it's in the description down below. Also, the official project on GitHub is available in the description down below. And if you want to fiddle with my project and do your own modifications on my user interface, feel free to do so. My project is as well in the description. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if you liked it. If you don't, give it a thumb down and peace out.